you made mention of Governor Skinny, now, but you also talked about fuel subsidy, the removal of fuel subsidy, and this being, you know, one of the things that would cushion the effect. The Governor of Ogun State on our next story now, talking about Dapo Abiodo, he has revealed that the removal of fuel subsidy has saved Nigeria 5.4 trillion naira. He made this statement during a special church service that was held on Sunday to mark the 64th National Day celebration at the Cathedral Church of St. Peter in Abiokuta. Abiodun emphasized that the funds that are saved from the subsidy are now being redirected towards the development of infrastructure across the nation. He explained that without removing the subsidy, Nigeria would have faced an enormous financial burden by the end of this year. 2024, noting that it would have consumed nearly as much as the government's annual infrastructure budget. In his words, and I quote, our budget this year for infrastructure was 6.7 trillion naira, while the subsidy would have cost 5.4 trillion naira if not curbed. Wow. Well, uh, the governor also highlighted that the subsidy primarily benefited neighboring countries and urged Nigeria to see the removal as an opportunity to invest in critical national services. Now, this is what Nigerians actually felt, that once subsidy is removed, at least we'll get to see the effect or the impact in other sectors, the monies that we say are being lost in subsidy and, you know, benefiting neighboring countries like he has reiterated again, he has reiterated in this uh, particular statement. But Nigerians are still asking where the monies are being channeled. But he has mentioned that the monies are being channeled to infrastructural development. And that's what I'd like to get your thoughts on all of this statement. Thank you, the governor of, uh, uh, what's that state? Ogun, Ogun State for organizing Thanksgiving to recognize the goodness of God as a nation. You've done well. But I'd like to say that as beautiful as that statement is, is not really very uh, sound to me. Because if the governor is saying that the removal of waste subsidy, the money, part of it has been used, channeled for infrastructure across the country. I expect him to, though I didn't get the full details of his speech, but I never heard him say, for instance, in Ogun State, we got so, so amount of billions of naira for, and we have channeled it to this uh, mm -hmm. infrastructure in Ogun State, <laughs> so that the people will now see the impact, the truthfulness and the reality of that statement. So you think that statement is not truthful? No, I, I can't say he's telling lies. I only said that he should have made that statement to be more realistic so that the people of Ogun State will say, oh, actually, a going to alter. There is a new road construction <laughs> and the money is as a result of the removal of well uh, subsidy. So we got this kind of uh, allocation from the feder federal government and we have channeled that money to the new construction of road in but talking about how much we have been able to save as a nation now, 5.4 trillion naira, according to Governor Abiodo, if we, due to the removal of fuel subsidy. If you, if we have, there are some statements you make, you begin to cause problem for yourself. How do you mean? The the Mr. President spoke through the Vice President during the UN meeting, asking for debt forgiveness, right? Mm -hmm. So if a governor is coming to tell uh, the public that Nigeria even have such kind of savings. No, so, no, no. He didn't say it's, it's saved somewhere, right? Get mm. the statement. He said the removal of fuel subsidy has saved us mm. from wasting or spending 5.4 trillion naira that will get to benefit neighboring countries than ourselves, Nigerians. Mm. And he's saying that this money, he told you how the money has been spent, mm. right? He, he didn't say that the money was kept somewhere in any, in any coffers or anything. You see, I have stated it very clearly that that statement is very ambiguous. Because if it's Mr. President that spoke, I would have said he, has, he can accuse states or inform us that our various states have received $5 billion because of uh, the savings and uh, subsidy. Uh, 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 Kogi states have received such an amount of money. Then it behoves on us or our governors to be accountable. I expected that part of what the governor of uh, uh, the state, you know, uh, Dakwa Biodu, 
should be telling the people of the states is how the money that he claimed that was saved and is now used for infrastructure, infrastructure has also benefited the people of his state. Is he saying that the state has no benefit from the proceeds? So maybe no. But I felt that he would have represented the federal government very well by telling the people of the states that we got so so amount of money is accountability statement. And we have used that money to uh, construct this road that is going on, this particular also building that is going on. They are proceeds from the removal of waste subsidy. So I'm not saying that he has not spoken well, but the statement he made do not represent the federal government in a good light. And the statement he made... Statement get, he made on... Ma uh, not, building not, infrastructure does not represent the federal government it, it, in a good it, light. It, it does not also show accountability. It also put the people of Ogun State in confusion. All right. Because where is the money now? I, I was, How has it benefited I was, us? I, was, I had like a thousand questions in my mind to just ask you. But when I looked at the time, I realized that time's up. And we All have right. to wrap up. Thank you so much, Ambassador Eki, for your thoughts on the show today. My pleasure. Happy Independence to all Nigerians. I believe that from tomorrow, uh, we'll no longer have hunger in Nigeria. The president is going to make a statement. Our governors are going to give us, you know, enough money so that we can have food to eat at home. <laughs> Don't worry, this money that you want to be shared will finally be shared one day. And that day, I will make sure I have you on the show. But thank you so much. You know, we always appreciate you My for pleasure. coming.